<laughs> what was the missing element, the one missing element in the story of the Titanic that could have saved them? What was it? Communication. You're close. Global warming. <laughs> Everything is global warming, you know? It's got to be global warming. Actually, you know, I guess if they had more global warming, there would have been no iceberg, and you're absolutely right. Man doesn't win it, though, and that's not it. Well, yes, that's true. Well, that's true, all true, but there was one little pair of binoculars. The guys on deck did not have binoculars. They forgot to give them binoculars. That's right. And because of that, they could not see the oncoming iceberg. So what we need and what we don't have, both in, I'm gonna talk about financial and environmental. Nobody really has binoculars. I don't have to tell you guys about climate change. You live with it. And in other places, there are floods, you know? I don't have to tell people in Georgia, in Atlanta, that are running out of water about climate change. Nobody has to tell anybody in the Gulf Coast about climate change because their places are gone. Let me tell you how bad this gets. By the end of this century, and this is your grandchildren will, be, will live to see this, the oceans, well, the, the global temperature will rise somewhere between eight and 11 degrees. You, if you don't know how big that is, the oceans rise not 10 or 20 feet, but 140 feet. I mean, this is a perfect storm, folks. The, the environmental catastrophe is accompanied by no money. So there are no distractions anymore after this is all over. It will be a social democracy, okay? Social democracy means that there are some people that have a lot less than they have now. And the problem is, if you could vote yourself a lot less, would you? You see, corporate America is our problem. We all know it. You know, we have a treasury secretary who's a former CEO of Goldman Sachs, who walked out of there with $500 million out of Goldman Sachs and represents the investment banking community. That can never happen again. It's out of control. They can't even figure out what anything is worth anymore because they created this whole derivatives market. And I heard yesterday that Countrywide is evicting people, renters, evicting people from, uh, from uh, and this is in this area, it was a local newscast, so it has something to do with around here. These people are being evicted, they're renters, because the, the owners have gone bankrupt, which has nothing to do with the renters. And by the way, there's been a court case on this, it's illegal, and they're doing it again. So this is the kind of thing that must be shut down. Remember what the depression was like, okay? People living, so many people living in a park, you know, in cardboard shacks. You know, you think this can't happen? You watch. We've lost half of our market value, half of the corporate market value in a little more than a month, okay? It's, it's and, and uh, pundits like Kramer and other guys are starting to look like deer in the headlights. They don't know what the hell's going on. It's no accident. It's no accident, you're right. Because when greed and self-interest get out of control, people think they're bulletproof, they can do anything. And they created a monster, they sent it out to the world. And the bad news for some people is, you know, some people just have too damn much money. That's it. They've been able to work a dysfunctional, dysfunctional system. I mean, everybody in the Forbes 400 qualifies. You know, and when they, when they call us socialists, I say, damn, yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really, uh, wait a minute, let's see. Social people, capital, money. Let me choose, let, let, me, let me choose a pile of paper or the love of the people around me. This is a critical moment in American history. This is maybe the most important time in American history, both from the standpoint of econ economic, who we will become, the transition from a capitalist system to a, to a social democracy. It's gonna be very hard. We have to be courageous. We have to be fearless. But ultimately, this will be the country that we wanna live in. So, thank you. <laughs> See some of these squirrely people stomping on our sacred constitution. And I wonder just how long the rest of us can count on being free. 
No, I don't mind them filling up the media with all their noise pollution. But when you're running down our freedoms, man, you're walking on the fighting side of me. You're walking on the fighting side of me. Running down the way of life, our fighting men have fought and died to keep. If you don't love it, leave it. Let this song that I'm singing be a warning. When you're running down our freedoms, man, you walking on the fighting side of me.